Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at a few applications, starting with this one, of the square root method of solving periodic equations. And in particular, we can apply it to the Pythagorean theorem. In other words, when we have a right angle triangle, we know that the sum of the squares of the two sides equal the square of the hypotenuse. So we can write this as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So how do we solve for a, b, and c in that equation? Well, let's take one at a time. First, let's write this as c squared on the left side equals a squared plus b squared. And now we're going to take the square root of both sides. So when we take the square root of the left side, we get the square root of the c squared is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. That means that c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. And that's what we know as the Pythagorean theorem. Now you may wonder, well, on the previous video, didn't you have a plus and minus on the right side? So why don't we try this? Why not? C equals plus and minus the square root of a squared plus b squared. Well, even though theoretically using the quadratic equation and using the method or the square root method to solve for the two square roots, there are indeed two answers to that problem, at least from a theoretical perspective. But notice that if this was a minus the square root of a squared plus b squared, then c would be a negative number. And c, of course, in the real world, you cannot have a triangle with a negative length. So in this particular case, the negative answer doesn't make any sense, so we simply do not include it. But if we don't know what the application is, we should include it. We should include the negative answer and see if it makes any sense in the particular application. In this case, it doesn't. Now let's solve for a. So what we can then say is that a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared by moving the b squared term over to the right side. Take the square root of both sides. So we can say a is equal to the square root of c squared minus b squared. Again, we don't need the negative there because a cannot have a negative length. And solving for b squared, b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. And so therefore, b is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared. So there's a, there are the three solutions when we solve for c, the hypotenuse, or a or b, one of the two sides of the right angle triangle. And that is how it's done using the square root method of solving periodic equations.